Wednesday, December 20th, 2023 Written by Samuel Thuriqua Psalm 125, verses 1 through 2 Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which can never be shaken, never be moved. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, now and forever. This is a great assurance to all who trust in the Lord. We are surrounded by the grace of God, and the strong arm of our God will always hold us tight. This gives me hope, as a gay Christian, that no matter what I am going through, and what people say or plan about me, my life is surrounded by God's love and peace. He watches over me all times, and I will only trust him alone. As it says in Malachi 3, verse 16, Then the people who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard what they said. In his presence there was written down in a book record of those who feared the Lord and respected him. In this world full of wickedness, there are still remnants who fear the Lord, who love their God, and believe and worship his greatness. There is a book of remembrance, and God keeps a record of your good deeds. These are the Lord's own people, and they are precious to him. I count myself lucky as I was able to complete my high school education unharmed. Those days, schools were like prisons. Teachers did not care about bullies. We feared reporting because the teacher you report to will punish you for not being a man enough to defend yourself. Many people dropped school, and others started taking drugs so that they fit in. I thank God, because the Christian union leader was my friend. During weekends, he could gather a group of ten boys where we did Bible study for just one hour. One Saturday evening, when we were in our group for prayers, we heard screams from the dormitories. There was fire, and some students were asleep in the dormitories. The aftermath was that two students were burnt beyond recognition, and ten had serious burns. We were called for an emergency assembly, and the ten boys of our group were called forward. I thought we were the suspects because everyone mocked us, even the teachers. To our surprise, everyone was sent home, and we were told to remain in school. This was a big lesson to me, and even today, I choose to be in the presence of God. Let us pray. Dear God, I truly thank you for inviting me to join at your table. Through the crowds, you noticed a gay man and had mercy on me, just as I was. Help me to live in your presence. I pray that you make me a remnant while I am in this present world. I have hope for a better world, where Christ will regain forever, and our joy as your remnants will be full. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.